oh, like I want to touch all of them. And hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day today. And I really hope you're ready for my opinion because y'all, it's been a while since I've given it and I am ready. I feel like I have been prepped and just like ah, excited for this for what was that? Ah. I don't know, but I'm ready is the moral of the story. Um, because at this point, I like to sit down, I like to drift through trend mood, and I like to talk to you about upcoming releases. Do I want to look at them? Do I not? What is my honest opinion? Uh, because let's face it, we all we all need opinions, and I have several, and I like to share them. I like to be philanthropic with my opinions, um, even if no one asks for them. So hello, let's go ahead and dive in, shall we? Um, oh, so first things first, if you missed my video, I'll go ahead and link my um, recommendations video for all those 21 Days of Beauty. I'll link it up here. I put it up last Friday. So if you're missing it, um, I'll throw it up there for you. I always get questions from you guys um, about the sales. Like, hey, would you recommend this? Or it's on sale tomorrow. What do you think? So um, videos like that are just a really good way for me to kind of encapsulate everything. And it was quite literally the first thing I saw when I clicked on uh, Trend Mood and scrolled down. <laughs> I'm already having a hard time talking. This is gonna be excellent. Um, but anyways, check that video out. Now, let's go ahead and discuss. Oh, so these I was really, really curious about. Am I like even in this frame? I feel like I'm like really far away from the camera. <laughs> Hi, this is my money. Oh, also, if you, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but I also, if you haven't seen it yet, I, okay, I seriously, is the camera even pointed at me right now or is it pointed up? I think it's pointed up. Hold on, let me let me let me adjust. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now that you're pointed at me, hello, hi. Um, now we can continue. I have to grab my cell phone. Ooh, I dropped it on the ground. Anyways, let's go ahead and get back to what I was gonna talk about before I was rudely interrupted. Hold on, let me let me get situated. I feel like now I'm all uncomfortable again. Oh, ouch! That was my foot. As I was saying for the third time now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the new things from Stila. They have the double dip suede shade and glitter glow liquid eyeshadows. Oh, that's a mouthful. Um, it looks like they retail for $24 and they come in 12 different pairs. And these I'm like struggling with because I want them so, so bad. Uh, truth be told, y'all know if you've been here for a hot minute, I love the Stila suede shades. They're the matte liquid eyeshadows they came out with. Oh, the formula is so good. I've used them a ton. I've talked about them on here a ton. And I have all the shades that they originally released with. And I don't know if any of these are new shades or not, by the way. I'm not sure. I haven't investigated that far. But the suede shade formula is really, really nice. But I do really like this concept between pairing a matte with a shimmer and making it super easy. It would be very, very quick and go-to for everyday wear, which I really, really like. Um, and it, But it's also not a new concept. You know, I want to be fair here. We've seen it from Huda. We've seen it from a lot of other places. So just something to, you know, kind of take that all into consideration. Um, but that being said, I really do like their formula. And for 24 bucks, I'm kind of like, hey, you know, like I could, <laughs> I could easily pick up a couple of these shades. Um, the ones really calling to me, there's like a, the green duo that I think is so, so pretty. Um, and I, so I love that one. And then I also really like, there's like a brown duo where it's brown with a like nice shimmery brown. That would be great for everyday wear. Or maybe if, ooh, ooh, you know what would be really pretty is if you picked up like the super fun pop of color ones, like the brighter, like a blue or pink or a purple, and you wanted these just to like add a little something on like your lower lash line, kind of spice it up. That would be really pretty. That's kind of what I did with today's look, actually. If you missed the um, Makeup Revolution video, I'll link it up here. Just got done filming it, and I went in with, like, a really neutral eye, and I added, like, this pop of hot pink out of the palette, and it looks really pretty. Like, for me, the, the striking color underneath can just, like, make or break a look, and I think it's really nice. So you could even use these for that, and it would look really pretty. So for me, those are kind of a win, kind of looking at them. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Uh, yeah, I do. Next up, I'm seeing... Oh, my God, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the ColourPop Mulan thing. We're gonna get there in a second. Who is excited for this movie? Okay, I just need to know. Like, who is freaking excited for this for this Mulan? I keep wanting to say ColourPop movie. Who's excited for the new Mulan movie? Me! I am dying of excitement, okay? Mulan is my favorite favorite Disney movie of all time. My favorite Disney princess, if you will. Um, I just love her. She's a badass. She's like, yeah, what's up? I don't care. You, I'm a woman. Well, guess what? Now I'm a man. I'm gonna go do what I want to do because I'm gonna save my daddy because he can't fight. And I just, oh my God, I love it so much. And then the songs from the cartoon. Oh my God. It kills me. Like the cartoon is, I still to this day will like look up and sing those songs in my car when I drive. Like, come on. Mysterious as the dark side of the moon. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like, come on. Come on. It's gold. Anyways, okay. Let's go ahead and talk about this collection because that's why we're here. Um, it looks like in the collection, you have an eyeshadow palette. You have a velvet liquid lipstick, a cream lipstick, a gloss, and two blushes. Oh, wait. And a face and lip scrub. 
um, or you can buy it as a full collection for 78. Okay. Um, I think out of this, I do, I like the packaging. I love the overall aesthetic. The blushes are really pretty. I like those a lot. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I missed the uh, the fourth ray jasmine tea face milk and gold lip mask. Okay, I missed that, sorry. Um, that's what it meant when it said duo, got it. Um, but I think for me overall, like even if the quality is good, there's nothing in this that I need. Um, even though I love it and I love the representation and the packaging and all of that, I don't think there's anything in here that I specifically need. It's a very neutral palette, neutral, you know, lips, or not lips, I'm sorry, neutral cheek and the lips and all of that. Um, so is it something I need? No, but I think it looks really pretty. Ooh, I'm, I'm struggling. I don't need it. I don't need this. I don't need this. No. Oh my God. Okay, I am just now seeing this for the first time, y'all. This is from Menagerie Cosmetics, and this is, what is this? <laughs> this is the, what is this? Um, it's the Pastel Pop. Oh my God, that packaging is so cute. Okay, first of all, the colors in here are so fun and so bright and so vibrant. Um, there's a shade in here called Turtle Club, and it's, dare I say, stunning. Oh my god, I might need this. Like, I don't need it, but like, I feel like I do. <gasps> Y'all know I get like some kind of way about pastel colors. I'm not even hardly wearing makeup right now because my life is so busy, but I see these and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like I want to touch all of them. Oh, I might need this. How much is it? Um, 11 mattes and one trifoil, 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 tri, okay, one special foil <laughs> snowball uh, color. It's $36. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 wait. They're not included in it. Okay, I get it. I get it. Hold on. I messed up. It looks like there's a palette which retails for $36. And then it says also for uh, the, the four, what are these? Trifoil, tri, four trifoil. Snowball, Bunny, Chicky, and Turtle Club, and those are $6 a piece. Y'all, if, oh, mm, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, because I really feel like I might need these. Oh, mm. okay, so I might get those, because <laughs> that one, that, dude, y'all just better fuck touch me right up with that. Mm. I don't even know that what I just said made sense. It doesn't matter. I might need those because the colors like for I first of all y'all know how I feel about like smaller independent brands Okay, first of all second of all those freaking shades are So beautiful. All right, so can we have like a real conversation because I have real questions. I need help. Okay Well, yes, I need help But is hollow taco worth it uh, as far as a nail shade goes because they look beautiful like they have a dark purple They have this white shade. It looks like they got they have like three new color topper things Solar Unicorn Skin, Aurora Unicorn Skin, and Cosmic Unicorn Skin. Or you can buy the full collection for $60. Individual, they are $13. Right now, by the way, fun fact, I'm wearing um, Lights Lacquer, which is Kathleen Light's new brand. This is the shade Serendipity. It's the red shade she came out with right around... Um, February. What's happy? What's what's the lovey dovey crap in uh, um, Valentine's Day? Wow, Valentine's Day. Um, and I'm wearing that shade right now, and it's really really pretty. Um, so as far as like you know independent brands and stuff like that, for the fifteenth time, I'm all in favor of it, and I love trying to support like other YouTubers and stuff if I can, especially when it's something that I'm interested in. And nail polish is just like one of those things that I can't stop, won't stop with. Um, so is Hollow Taco worth it? Because like I can just looking at this, I would totally wear these shades. I would wear that dark purple. It's beautiful. Uh, well, it's called Indigo Away. So Indigo. Uh, but I would wear that and I love those topper shades even. Those are really beautiful. So what do you guys think? Yes, no? Give me your thoughts and opinions. My stomach's growling. I should have brought crackers or something in here. Okay, Urban Decay. I have not seen these yet. Moon Dust Lip Eclipse. It is a sheer lipstick that goes on smoothly with a hint of color and a and the most radiant multi-dimensional glittery finish. Um, or there is the Moon Dust Glitter Illuminator. Illuminizer sorry. Um, and it says it's a lightweight face and body illuminizer with hyper fine duochrome glitter and pearlescent pigment. Dries instantly for full body sparkle and glow. I mean, they're cool. I don't need them though. These I can say with a fair amount of certainty. Well, like <laughs> me, I'm like, I don't need them, but I like that color. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I need these. These, I don't need these. No, no, no. How much are they? <laughs> So the Lip Eclipse is 22, the Glitter Illuminizer is, there's like random glitter all over the damn place. Uh, the Liquid Illuminizer is 29. Yeah, I don't need those. Um, I would, I'll just stick with the gloss and I don't put glitter all over my body because that's just not me. That's not my life, that's not my journey. I'm not like, uh, you know, you know, just covering myself in strip club glitter isn't really my thing. Um, it looks good and I love it on people, especially when they put it like in their cleavage and I'm like, damn, like I have like a Friday moment, damn. 
uh, but it's definitely not. It's not for me. Um, it just, it doesn't, <laughs> it's not like an everyday life appropriate thing for Paige. And let's be honest, I don't have a life. I like to sit in my chair, my rocking chair, my old lady chair with my old lady sweater with my hair like this. And it just, it doesn't fit my life. Like it's a totally different kind of person. And if it's you right on, it just isn't me. Oh man, you guys, this one is going to be a struggle for you girl because Melt Cosmetics has released their rust palette and it's just like your standard neutral eyeshadows but like oh the aesthetics are killing me because y'all know I'm a neutral little hoe and I love this oh my gosh like the packaging and the fact that they call it rust oh my god like I work with steel a lot and oh rust is so pretty oh like patina stuff I just love it so much I actually just patina to sign the other day oh this kills I really like this I know like in my head I don't need this but like does a part of my soul think I do yes it's so pretty like Oh my God, this is so beautiful. But like, don't you love a minute ago how I was like, do I need this ColourPop palette? No, but now all of a sudden I'm like, ooh, do I need this Melt palette? They're both neutral, but I, and I don't need it, but like I want it, ooh, oh. And I think it's cause I love the lighter end. It has like a bone colored shade, a light peachy pink, and then like a really nice like burnt yellow orange kind of color. And those three shades are just like giving me absolute life love and the pursuit of all things beautiful like oh my god I might need it but like I also don't Ooh, okay I'm gonna think about it I'm gonna think about it I'm gonna dream about it who are we kidding that's <laughs> beautiful oh my god y'all want to know something I am so excited about <sighs> I cannot freaking wait for these cream things to come out from Fenty their new cheeks out collection oh my god I am so excited. I, oh my God. So first of all, y'all know I'm about ready to get that bronzer, that cream bronzer. Yes, please. And then there's also like three different shades of that cream blush that I need them so bad. I need them in my life. I need them in my hand right now. Oh my God. Um, it looks like the cheeks out cream bronzer is going to be $32 and the cream blush is going to be 20 releasing on April 17th. And y'all best bet believe that your girl's going to have a couple of those in her possession. Um, maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe I should put those and do like my full face of new Fenty and wait for those and then put them in it. Ooh, there's an idea. Okay. So maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, cause a bunch of you voted by the way, in favor of that full face of Fenty. <laughs> wow. Um, which makes me very happy because I want to do a full face of new Fenty and I just wasn't sure if you guys did, but now that I know you do and you know that I want it, it's like, eh we're having like a moment and I'm very excited. Uh, so moral of the story. Yes. We're, we are so doing this. Oh my word. Yes. So something I am very interested in, this is the new peach perfect instant coverage matte concealer from Too Faced. It's like in a pot. It's going to retail for $22 and it says that it's super pigmented, waterproof, creamy concealer, blends seamlessly into skin for a flawless soft focus effect, uh, cover covers acne scars, uh, and hyperpigmentation, that sort of thing. And it says available in 17 shades medium coverage with a matte finish. I think I'm intrigued with this one because I do like a matte finish, but most of the time whenever I've tried a potted concealer, I've never been able to use it as an actual like under eye type concealer or a face concealer, you know, like spot concealing, that sort of thing. So I think for me, the only reason I'm really intrigued with this is because it's a concealer and I want to check with that formula and see, you know, how does it work? Does it apply? Does it stay down? Will it make a good um, eye base if I was doing eyeshadow, that sort of thing. And yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just really, really curious. Is anybody else curious about that or is it just me? Because <laughs> that one could very easily be just me and I wouldn't be surprised at all. Like, Paige, literally no one else cares about a potted concealer. And here I'm sitting. Hee! I'm so geeked out about it. Like, Paige, <laughs> calm down. Okay, I'm sorry. What in the hell is this? Uh, what? Huh? Okay, um, so it looks like Pure Cosmetics and Trolls came out with a collaboration. Um, why? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't get it. Where, mm, what is this for? First of all, these are little like one, two, three, four, five. They're little six pans of eyeshadow and they don't like, okay. The, I try so hard to find the positive guys. So I just, the color story is fine. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> the color story is fine, but like why? And why are there six of them? Six little, six they're $18 a piece. I have one question. Who asked for this? Okay. Who? Who was like, you know what we really need? More trolls in our makeup. Do you hear crickets? Because I, I just, I don't understand. I don't, I, no. I'm just going to stop talking and say an affirmative no on this one. Like, not only will I not pick it up, I just, I do not understand. Do not understand. I'm sorry.
I don't get it. Stop it right now. Oh my gosh. So how did I just miss this? There's other stuff getting released with the Too Faced launch. It says that they're going to have a primed and poreless face powder and a face primer. Oh, honey, I am so interested in that as well. Um, I'm very interested with this primed and poreless powder though. Am I the only one that has like this weird place for Too Faced in my heart? Like, I, I, I know as a brand, it's kind of like, ugh, like it's, it's, it's a little sketchy as a brand, but like as far as the products for me, there's just something about Too Faced that still has like a refinement. And I think it's a nostalgia thing from like when I started playing with makeup and how much I really enjoyed so much of their stuff. And I look back at the track record from then to now and I just keep waiting for them to have like that redemption moment where it's not what it is right now. And I don't know, am I the only one that like struggles with this? I don't even know. Is that weird? You know what? I don't know. Judge me, it's fine. Okay, I'm sorry, wait. What the hell am I looking at right now? Beauty news, first look from fashion and fragrance to a full beauty line, Jimmy Choo launched their own makeup products and it's lipsticks with a gorgeous packaging and case. How many dollars is 50 pounds? Answer is $61.40. <laughs> $61.40, what? Okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> hold on, $60. Let me look, let, let me just look at this. Okay, so it is a stick with a ball on top, cool. Like I bet a dog that like wants to play fetch would really love this. Yes, aesthetic is very nice and it's pleasing and all of those things, but like $60? I, <laughs> just then what you saw was me realizing I've paid a lot of money for other products, so I really shouldn't judge, but I'm like having a hard time because like, I. <sighs> For me, I look at a lipstick and I'm like, okay, first of all, I always wreck lipsticks. Can you imagine if you accidentally sent this through the washer and the dryer? Oh my God, I'd be devastated, number one. What if you leave it in your purse and it gets hot outside? What if you, God forbid, drop it in your car and it melts in the sun? I just, oh my God, like I would feel so nervous having this in my possession. I would be like, I need to like, I need to, I feel like I need to care for this lipstick for $62. My God, ah. Uh. Um, yeah, no, probably, that's probably a big no for me. Oh man, guys, I was so curious about this. I almost bought it the other day. Um, Way Hair Care, they came out with a shampoo for fine, medium, and thick hair, like shampoo and conditioner, a set for each type of hair. I want to try it so bad but it's 28 bucks for a bottle of shampoo or conditioner. And don't get me wrong, like, I guess it's it's for 10 ounces, so it is, it is expensive. But I wanna try, has anybody else tried these? Please tell me if they're good or not. I have fine hair, so if you tried the one for like fine hair, because my hair itself is fine, I just have a lot of it, so I always go with fine hair products, and they work pretty good. So, do you like it? Have you tried it? Thoughts, opinions, because guys, I almost bought it. Oh, and I wanna try it so bad. Like, I'm really struggling. Please tell me it's bad. Just please do, because I don't, I don't, I don't want to need it. I don't want to need to try it. I don't want to need to love it. Did anything I just said make sense? No, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. You're used to it. I feel like we we have this relationship at this point. You're used to me not making sense, and I'm used to you just loving me, anyways. <laughs> Thank you. And all right, beautiful people. With that, I am going to draw this video to a close. Let me know down below your thoughts and opinions on any of these launches or any other launches that are coming up. Um, I feel like this one actually went really well. Normally, I'm like, I gotta be a little bit shady. And these, like this one, there's a lot of new products coming out that I'm like, whoo, -hoo, like I'm a little titillated. I wanna, I wanna play around. I wanna touch them. I wanna enjoy them. Um, but let me know down below your thoughts, opinions, anything that I talked about or anything that you've seen. Like I said, any of that, I would love to hear from you on. Um, if you haven't checked me out yet, Instagram and on Twitter. Those will both be linked down in the description. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that as well. I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I feel like, <laughs> I feel like my eyes stepped in mud or something. It's weird. What if I just walked around like that? That'd be cute, right? <laughs> That'd be so cute. I'd be like adorable. <sighs> okay. All right. You know what? What was that? I think it's been a long time since I've given the world my opinion on upcoming releases. Look at this hair.